Don't say so over sports talk. We talk all sports, but mainly we talk Miami Heat sports. We love them all teams, all things. If you think perspective, you just have Celtics, Knicks, Pacers, get out of here. Hawks, Nets, Lakers, get out of here. Ain't no room for the fakers, get out of here. Rest in peace to the haters, get out of here. Celtics, Knicks, Pacers, get out of here. Hawks, Nets, Lakers, get out of here. Ain't no room for the fakers, get out of here. Rest in peace to the haters, get out of here. Hero for three, who on D? Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Big Tone for Big Tone Over Sports Talk, where we talk all sports. My sports, your sports, his sports, her sports. We talk all sports, but mainly we talk Miami Heat sports. And, to, and today, we're doing a Miami Heat special commentary, man. Miami Heat special commentary, man. You understand what I'm saying about the events about today and what's happening and what's going on today and the game that's happening today. Good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you on this beautiful uh thanksgiving eve man uh big tone over sports talk miami heat special commentary man uh it's straight and to the point man today the injury report uh kevin love will not kevin love will not be playing kevin love is out due to personal reasons uh uh today uh bam bam out of bio is day to day which probably mean nine out of ten times bam gonna play uh tyler as you know tyler hero still out and um RJ Hampton is still out. Uh, so uh, um, that's the reports today, the injury reports today on what's going on with the Miami Heat and all today, man. Um, but uh, I just want to give a little input on, on the game today and what's happening today. We played the Miami Heat played the Cleveland Cavaliers today in Cleveland. Um, I think it's going to be a good game, man. Miami just got to stay on the track and do what they've been doing. Um Spo, Spo announced that uh, uh, Thomas Bryant will replace uh, Kevin Love in the lineup today. Um, and I think y'all y'all already know, man. I think I think um, Thomas Bryant is a big addition to the Miami Heat, man. Um, like I said, he don't need he don't need big minutes and everything, man. Uh, Thomas Bryant don't need big minutes, but the minutes that he do get, man, he he. You know he he holds it down um, that allow Bams to Bam to get more rest and like I said before in my live streams and all um, I'm loving the fact that our bench is a, a whole lot more deeper this year and more stable this year than the previous years man um, Bam and Jimmy are able to get Bam and Jimmy are able to get longer rest periods. Um, and that's danger for the rest of the team, and they know that. Um, that is big danger for the rest of the team. Uh, the bench is able to come in and replace Bam and replace Jimmy, and Jimmy and Bam get that long rest. And, you know, in the previous time when Bam and Jimmy go out, man, we could be up 10, 15 points, man, and you bring their back up in, man, we would lose, you know, that, that, that lead would evaporate, man, almost in a heartbeat. Um, but, but thank this year, man. Um, with the additions that we have, man, um, with the young man, Jaime, man, I'm telling y'all, this young guy, this rookie is going to be special, man. This rookie is going to be special in this league, man. And um, with the emergence, re-emergence of, of uh, uh, Duncan Robinson, you understand what I'm saying? Now, I say again, Josh Richardson is Josh Richardson as far as on the defensive side. Uh, Josh Richardson hasn't lost a step as far as on the defensive side, man. Josh Richardson is still doing what Josh Richardson do on the defensive side, man. It's a beautiful thing. Um, but he's still getting himself together on the offensive side, man. He, he's improving more and more once he get his rhythm down, the more he play and everything. So those additions, man, um, you know, the high man, the, the Josh Richardson, man, uh, now that uh, uh, Haywood, 
Highsmith is in regular rotation at the four man. Um, Duncan emerging the way that he's doing. Duncan is at sixty in the last five in the last six game. Duncan is a, Duncan is at sixty three percent shooting from the three in the last uh, uh, six games. So um, that type of emergence from Duncan man can only be one thing: danger for the rest of the opponents. Uh, Duncan keep that up, and I'll say again: Duncan is that is not just a one trick pony no more. Um, Duncan is a 3D guy. I, I I claim him as a 3D guy officially as of right now. Duncan do it all. The three, the in perimeter, the drive to the basket, the alley, the alley oops. Duncan is, is true and his defensive game has really improved. And, and I'll say again, anybody, anybody who's been watching this team since Duncan come on, no. Uh, uh, from where his defense started <laughs> and where it is now. He, he, Duncan is up here on his on his he is up here on his defense level, man. Duncan has improved dramatically, man. He has improved. Uh, his shooting is back, and like they always say, a sniper is going to be sniper. It's just a matter of getting back in rhythm with yourself. Um, but the other things, off ball, on ball, Duncan is just man. He he has really developed, and and you got to give shout out to Spo, man. Um, and y'all know me as much as I, you know, it, it, oh, it just furiates me when Spo don't do the right rotation and set guys and that I feel like he should be playing. One thing Spo had is a vision for Duncan, because I'll say this again. Um, the reports was that Pat Riley wanted to trade Duncan when Duncan went on that slump. Duncan was put up on the chopping block and it was Spo. It was Eric Spostra who said, uh, you know, we, we, I want to keep Duncan. I think we, we can do, even though Eric Spostra took him out of rotation, uh, rightfully so, let's, let's just be honest, uh, rightfully so, Duncan, you know, had just fell off his shooting. And at that time that he got taken out the rotation, you know, Duncan was just a one-trick pony. If he didn't make the threes, that was it. He just was a complete liability. At that time, that Spo took him out of rotation. So that was that was actually one of the best things that Spo could have done at that time. But but Spo knew and felt um, that Duncan was going to end up being more than what he is. That's why Spo uh, uh, defended Duncan and took Duncan off the trading block when Pat Riley was going to put him on the tr uh, a trading block. Pat Riley believed in. You know, Pat Riley believed in Spo, and Spo believed in Duncan. And so when Duncan got that second chance to start getting his percentage back up, start getting the shooting back up, start doing off-ball shit, start taking shit to the hoop, man, it, it's just, oh, my God, it's a brush of fresh air, man. And y'all know, all you got to do is check my streams, man. Y'all know I've been Duncan from day one. I've been, I've been Duncan Robinson from day one, even when he was down. I was, you know, like anybody, man, I was a little disappointed. I was a little disappointed but when, when he fell off. But I understood uh, uh, um, snipers and shooters are going to have them bad days. Hell, Steph Curry had them. Clay Thompson got them. You understand what I'm saying? All, all, all the good good snipers and shooters, man, going to have them down, that downtime. And Duncan had hidden. And now that he's not just a one-trick pony, not just doing just shooting threes, Duncan now is, is almost to the level of superiority, man, because he is more dangerous now than ever before. Why? Because he do more than just shoot threes. So they can't just guard him from the three no more. You understand what I'm saying? Um, like I said, the pick and rolls that him and Bam does, man, it, it's just a complete package now. And like I said, with the young man, Hyman, man, uh, Triple J, man, this this rookie here, man, uh, it, it truly was a blessing getting this dude, man. He is going to be – he stick around, man, uh, around Jimmy and Spoden, man. This dude going to be special, bro. This dude's going to be special, man. Hi, Smith, you know what I – ain't nothing I can say but homeboy. He's a Marylander as well, like me. He's a Marylander, man. He's a fight, man. Lockdown defense. Uh, 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 getting his offense together, man. Um, I just feel good about this team, man. Like I said, Thomas Bryant, he was taken out of the rotation last couple of games. Um, and and uh, Kevin Love, 
uh, was coming in replacing Bam. Um, but tonight, uh, Thomas Bryant will be filling in for uh, Kevin Love. Kevin Love is out tonight uh, for personal reason against the Cleveland Cavaliers. So Thomas Bryant will be filling in for him, man, for Bam and everything, man. And I'm telling you, man, um, I, 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 I just – I just feel good about this Miami Heat team, man. I really do, man. And uh, I think I think we are going to take this thing to another level, man. Um, we know what we up against, man. We up against this rig as NBA. We already know. I said it, and I ain't stunning. I'm staying ten toes down on it. We up against this rig as NBA against us. You know what I'm saying? Who want want certain teams to win? <laughs> L.A., <laughs> Milwaukee, <laughs> Boston. You know, we're up against this reg ass NBA. So we we Miami Heat know what they're up against, man. And we know what we gotta do, man. Um, but I, I just think I just think we we gonna, you know, we're gonna prevail over all, all this bull crap. So I'm liking my squad, man. I'm liking what we're doing. Um, hey man, I'm I'm loving I'm loving the 3D coming from Duncan Robinson. I'm loving Josh Richardson defense, man. Uh he gonna get his offense together, man. Josh gonna get himself together um at the right time. You know, Jimmy is Jimmy, Bam is Bam, man. Uh High Smith, beautiful man, starting. Um, you know, coming, he's no longer coming off the bench. Now he's starting, man. Um, so it, it's just I'm telling you, man, it, it, it's a beautiful thing, man. Miami Heat is a beautiful team to watch to play, man. They, they truly is a fun team to watch play. You ain't got to like them. You ain't got to like them. I mean, haters going to hate. You ain't got to like them, but I'm telling you something, man. This this is a, a true fun team to watch, man. I love my boys, man. And I think we're going to really take it to the next level this year. And, and we're going to see. We're going to see. So this is Big Tone Over Sports Talk, special Miami Heat commentary, man. I uh, just wanted to stop by, man, do my commentary, daily commentary, man, before I go live at 3.05. Y'all know how I do it. At 3.05, I will be live and in person, man. If you're available, come on in, man, and join. Have a seat, man. Get in the chat, man. You can even come in the chat and chop it up live and in person with your boy, man. Look, if you're watching this video, man, let's get the subs up, man. Get the 2,000, man. Let's, let's uh, join the team, man and um become a big tone open sports fan uh, uh, uh open sports talk member man um hit that subscribe man get them subs up for me man um and if you like the content you know what to do man with that said man until later on today at 305 on my live i'm big tone for big tone open sports talk peace